what's up guys? This is Emily from Bubbly Monkey Gaming and today we are back in one shot. Now I think uh, Nico might be a little grumpy at me because I exited out again and made the, his whole world go dark and, and sad. Um, but don't mind my hair, uh, I just took a shower and uh, it's all wet. I brushed it a little bit but it, it's still a little wet. Uh, but anyways, let's keep playing, shall we? I'm back. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. Am I the only one who's seeing this? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Okay, I'm gonna turn the volume down just a hair. Cause, owie, that's loud in my ear holes. All right, let's talk to some people. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers materials for his books. Wow. Is that flying machine called an airplane by chance? Guys, I figured out the mystery. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Uh, how come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author! I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing. And then everyone will love it. And nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh, I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call, call you a copycat for something you wrote first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. <laughs> Even though I'm a person, and cats are pets. And mousers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Eh, I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Ah, well, sounds like someone is just complaining a lot. All right, well, what's this? A pile of books on the ground. Cool, awesome. That uh, did not help me whatsoever. A photo of some plants. Cool. Hmm, I guess I gotta find someone to talk to. The author's book is covered with a wide range of topics. There are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. He's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh, they say they say the city is the last ba bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. Hello? What? Oh, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you're in a library. There's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Okay, sorry. Jeez, I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and uh, I'm not sure what the children's sec sec uh, the children's section is. Sorry. That's okay. I'm not really looking for any books. Oh, are you here to look? For the author, then? No? Oh, that's good. Or, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head of li with the head librarian on publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, seems kind of reclusive, which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Maybe. Okay, well, I can't get by you, so I'm just gonna go down this way. So, I was told that I need to go in here and look for something, but, yep, still scared of ladders. Ah, uh, Nico, what are we gonna do with you? Hello, person. Hi! Hello there! Wrist shelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Alright, well, that's... That's all for me, then. Great. Anything interesting here? Books are placed neatly on the shelf. Placed books are neatly on the shelf. On the shelf are neatly placed books. Neatly placed books are on the shelf. Ah, damn, okay. So, there's nothing here. On the shelf are neatly placed books. Placed books are neatly on the shelf, neatly. Eh... Come on, give me something. Here's another shelf, neatly placed. There's gotta be something here, right? 
Otherwise the robot wouldn't just tell me to come here. Um, how are you doing, sir? Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. He's even got glasses. <laughs> I love it. Oh, excuse me. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Beep, 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 beep. Hello? Yes, some weird cat boy wants to talk to you about some clues some big robot told him about. Uh-oh. Well, guess we gotta go find the librarian. She is not picking up. No way. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. <laughs> Yikes. Can you get her, can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. All right, good to know. Well, let's talk to some other people here though. I'm only on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. <laughs> All right, sure. Whatever you say, kiddo. Ah, uh, coffee. Computer is currently off. All right, well, eh. unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh no, not this BS again. <laughs> she is not picking up. Yeah, I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. What? Even in an emergency? My, <laughs> my programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. <sighs> Fine. We'll do it your way then. On the shelf, neatly placed books. Ooh, coffee. Coffee cups. Coffee is for grown ups. Alright, sure. I think we already had this conversation that coffee is not just for grown ups, but you know, whatever. So what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. This guy is very busy. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big com compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his, lo his travel logs and novels, mostly. The big book with the black clover on the cover. It says... A comprehensive guide to phosphors. Ooh, reading time. Yay! You guys are probably all really excited about this. As a general rule, if phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be really lit unless exposed to the sun. If phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. So fascinating. Blue phosphor, other common plants are Parties may, that is to say, the glow may not be constant. Most forms of blue phosphor will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If using blue phosphor to power machines, a motor should be 
at, set at baseline level of activity to ensure constant, constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, live phosphor shrimp can be used. Green phosphors, red phosphors. Awesome. Okay. Can I get around, possibly? Oh, here we go. Uh, the author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? No, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. Cool shit that you guys wouldn't really get. Why can I not get back to that kid over there? What is that about? Should I be able to get back there? I can't get back to that kid back there. The TV kid. Alright, well... Hmm. I feel like I've explored everything already. So how do I get a library card, hmm? Hmm? How do I get a library card? Okay, I already talked to you. Fudge! Okay. So I am gonna go and find a library card, I guess. That's what we need to find. I don't know where we're gonna find it, but we better figure out something. And you're, you talk about how the world's gonna end, blah, 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 all that crap. Okay. And you're just hanging out. Oh, shoot. Oops. Can I not get by you? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, awesome. Perfect. And there's nothing over here. Awesome. So, I guess I gotta go back this way. Wait, hang on. Do I have my thick convict lens? Thick lens, thin lens, concave lens. Where did I get all these lenses from? Can I? Can't combine those. What about? Can't combine those. Okay, I guess I can't do anything with that for now. Um, hang on, which one was the? Ah, here we go. Um, back alley, elevator street, vendor street, library. Let's go to the vendor. Let's go to the vendors. Is this? We missed a bunch of stuff last time. It smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. Oh, the, that's candy! I thought it was meatballs last time. Man, now I want a meatball hoagie sandwich. It don't taste too bad, though. Do you want one? It's okay, thank you. <laughs> no thanks, your cooking probably sucks. Alright, pill man. Hey, hey, ready for me to blow your mind? Yes, do it. Okay, so, I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water, and then you drink the water. Then you never need to drink water again. What? That almost makes plants- it also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks? Don't thank me, go spread the word. Alright, I got a water pill. Oh, I can bring that back to- I can bring that back to the- the plant! And make him make him drink oh drink all the oh yes can I get back to to oh wait can I go back up the elevator shoot wrong thing um back alley elevator street can I go elevator goes back up to the catwalks we need to press the button if we want to go back up shoot okay take me up take me back up Take me back up to our little plant spirit. Yes. I like this elevator music. This is nice. Mm-hmm.
Okay, good. I thought it broke for a second. I was, I was gonna start freaking out. But everything's okay. Okay. So travel to garden. Sweet. Guess what I got? Guess what I got? Guess what I got, buddy? I got a water pill. You've given it dirt and water, but will that be enough? Are you kidding me? Wait, do I need to combine? So put the pill in the water? Dissolve really fast. Uh, medicated water. Now can I give it to it? Good thinking, Emily. This water should really help the seed grow. Okay, duh, of course. I sh should have thought to combine them first before. <laughs> I just shove a pill in a piece of dirt. Here, eat this pill. Eat it now. <laughs> I really should have thought that one through. All right. There you go, bud. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Oh, yay! Good! You're growing! Okay, awesome. Uh, let's go back now. Let's go to the elevator deck. I need to push the button. Oh, yeah. Oops. Alright, press the button. Alright, in we go. Ah, and back. Here we go. Okay, so... Oh, hello. I don't remember seeing you last time. <sighs> you alright? Ah, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think... I think I should listen to Emily. After all, Emily helped me get this far. I will take faith in your answer. Take f your faith for an answer, then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Alright, sure, be vague, whatever. I don't really care. Alright, um... So we gotta go exploring some more. I don't know where else we might be able to go. There's that. We went there last time. Hello? I don't remember you. Evening news, evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No. Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups. <laughs> Programming. Not function. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids. Er, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. Gotcha, okay. Well, I'm gonna go down here. Ooh, what's over here? There's more stuff over that way, but I think... Oh, this goes th this way to the elevator. Oh! Okay, so this goes over to the end of the... the yes, okay, I, I gotcha. Alright. I'm gonna do a lot of exploring in this episode, so... Be ready for it. And this is the... This is the tower, isn't it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not gonna do anything just yet, alright? I'm not gonna do anything just yet. We're just gonna... Okay, so now we've done that. And we're up here. Okay, so this is... Right. Where does this lead now? I don't remember. Does that go back to the library? Maybe this is new. Oh, no, it's different. I don't remember you. Is this all the same? I remember there being doors. Oh! Well, this is a- this is a facility. Uh, if all else fails, wait for the- oh, wait, maybe I'm reading these out of order. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna go over here first. It may help you to go one color at a time. Great. So glad 
Got that. We can also help to write down previous attempts. Management. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. What is going on? Hey, can you tell me anything? Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also robots. Okay, well, um, hmm. Interesting. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The huh? You must change the color of the lights in a specific configuration. Allow me. Oh, so that's what I was talking about. Okay. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Um, lights more correct color. Nine tries left. Ooh, I gotta be careful about this. All right. Um, so I'm assuming that's the entrance. Yeah, it is. So let's go over here and see if we can find any more. Oh, hello. The luminescent index of red li of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Alarming, to say the least. That's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We will have to further concentrate the phosphor for now, for it to be any of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance this city could run out of light as in as little as six months. What are we going to do? I don't know. Sounds like a problem. Sounds like a big old problem. Alright, well, I'm gonna go out this way. See you later. I don't know what that whole sequence is about. But I'm sure I have to do something to figure it out, right? Is there anything back here? No. A whole lot of nothing. Alright, fine. I'm just gonna go. Can I go back there? No, that's not that's that's not a little alleyway. Alright, so how many places have I unlocked now? I've got the back to alley, the factory, the elevator street, the vendor street, and the library. So let's go to the back alley again. What where does this go again? Oh, right, and this was, I'm pretty sure this is the mechanic's house. It's a big book. The title says, Understanding Robots. Okay, so there's gotta be something I need to do with this stuff, right? There's gotta be something. Oops. Uh, can't combine those. Can't combine those. Can't combine those. Can't combine those. Shoot. Okay, well, there's got to be something. Hmm. Swarm in here. Yeah, this was my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh, it's a nice purpose. Hmm. Oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Emily and I have stuff to do. I see. All right. Uh, yeah, you do look tired. Do you want do you want to go take a nap? Actually, that's that's probably a smart idea. It's probably a good time to stop and oops. Uh, let's go to Elevator Street. Yeah, here we go. So, I will send Nico to bed and then I will end this episode here. I think that's a good idea. I was going to say, are you you going to go to sleep? We should get going now. I'm like, oh. Back. Well, alright then, you're gonna be like that. I was trying to be nice, let you go to sleep, but no, we're not gonna do that. Alright, fine. Well, that is gonna be all for this episode. I am working on figuring out what's going on. Um, I'm trying very hard, I promise. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome, and hopefully I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day, you guys. Stay awesome and bubbly. Bye-bye!